Bitcoin, we start with one of our charges. So I want to give a quick update. First of all, if we refer to my last analysis, we mentioned for me, I mentioned I'm more interested to look for buy. Any trade for buy, we take it as a short term. And even this, we mentioned if we get one more drop, any reversal will take it or even we mentioned if you get any trade from here because i mentioned if the price couldn't break the previous low which i referred to this one any trade is a short-term trade within this range that's why for those because we mentioned we can expect the price to break the previous top which is this one then this one turned to a correction in relative to this all right anyway as what what we expected we expected we get one move up and for those traders they get a trade right now they should start to manage the trade if they want to move their sublast to break even or take put in a small profit all right they should know what they want to do and we move to daily chart we don't need this line anymore i know one is what's the next because you mentioned if there is a breakout of 41 confirmation the next level we can look for is somewhere around 38 or 38300 all right now it's still the way we're looking at the chart based on daily chart is similar to what we explained in my last analysis, because as of what I explained, I mentioned I'm looking for the correction here, all right? Because I mentioned I prefer this one turn to a correction similar to what I have here. I get the flat, I get one more drop following by the divergence, then any reversal from there it can give me better confirmation to look for trade as a long term. At least the price retest the 52, okay? All right, but it doesn't mean the price cannot reverse from here. All right, why we have a second option? We want to get the flat because at least we can conform with the divergence. And right now, if you look at this one as a three weeks, I don't see the ABC. We cannot call it ABC since I don't have the divergence. All right, that's mean we need to be quite careful. Still, we can expect at least to get one more drop before we get the reverse off. And this is the best option I'm looking for. Anyway, if we move to forward chart, and even based on forward chart, both of the indicator doesn't show me the divergence as of what I explained in my last analysis. All right, that's why we can expect to get one more drop. And the way we have been looking for this one as a correction in relative to this, because some of the traders, they simply, they can, we can, or even we can simply put a line here, they call it the falling wedge. All right, and the another one we can put here. If this one turn to falling, which we don't see the breakout of 45,400, then we can expect the price will be within this one. All right, but for me, the way I'm looking for at, at this time, I'm looking for this one as a flat. All right, and if this one turned to flat, as I explained, we can expect to get one more drop, then any reversal following by five divergence, if we refer to the indicators, mostly based on daily and forward chart, it can give us better confirmation for the reversal, all right? This is the second option as we explained. How high this one can go with the breakout of the previous top, somewhere around 45,400. We can expect even to get the price to 45,400. This is what we expect in this case, any trade within this range for buy still we can take the trade as a short-term trade all right because we can look at this one as a flat what type of the flat either regular flat or contracting flat that's why we can expect even the price drop from here or even the price tag drop because of the different type of the flat as i say regular or contracting if we refer to uh Elliott wave but this is as a second option. This is the best option if we get. Why? Because it can give us better confirmation. Again, it doesn't mean the price cannot continue from here. That's why I mentioned even within this range, we can look for buy as a short term if we get any opportunity. But, but when we call it a short term, at least we should know how to man uh, manage the trade if it's not moving in our direction because we are expecting based on second option to get one more drop. All right. Anyway. Now, can we it internally, can we consider this one as a three waves? Sorry, this one as a three waves in relative to this. That's why we have two different type of the flat. Either this is the correction relative to this, and this is the one is going as a first, second, third, or this one can extend. All right. Anyway, we don't need to discuss about that. This is the flat we can expect. And right now we don't see any trade setup for buy or sell. It's still based on lower time frame. We still we can look for one move up, 
discuss as a short term. Rather than that, we have nothing else to discuss here. And if I move to one hour chart, as, I, as we explained, we can look at this one internally as a flat following which the sharp move. That's when we can expect to get one move up. And we want to, if, if we get any trace at top, we can look for 45, 400, somewhere near to 45 or 45, 400, right? Because if there is a breakout of 45, 400, then we can expect we can look for continuation. Or even if the, it turns to expanding, all right, how, ex, how, how much it can expand, we cannot conform with that. But what we're expecting, if you want to look at the, this, within this range, we want to look at the trade is a short term, then we want to see if there is a breakout of 45, 400 is good for us. If not, then any reversal for sale from there, we will take the trade, all right? Because right now we're looking at this one. How about if the prices start to drop from here? I just let it go. I won't take the trade unless we get a sharp move following by flat. If he wants to look for sale. That's why for me, if I want to look for sale first, I wait to get one move up. The price retest the previous stop. If there is no breakout of the previous stop or 45, 400, any drop following by sharp move flag, I will take it. I will look for sale. And the target is the price retest the previous low, which is somewhere around. 40k or 40200. All right. Anyway, for the long term, we are more interested to look for buy down. The things is we want to see how this correction can behave. And as I mentioned, the best things is if we get one more drop. Again, it doesn't mean the price cannot continue from here. That's why if we get any opportunity as a short term, we will take it. But what I explained that for the, as a second option, I'm looking for the best option if I want to look for the long term trade. And right now, any trade is short term. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, update or any trade setup, I will share. Thanks.